My name is Nathan Perry, and this is my story. Well, I was born to a, an unmarried interracial family in the southern United States in the 1970s, and I was given up for adoption. I was adopted by a, a Caucasian family, which led to a lot of conflict, um, a lot of racism. I've had crosses burned in my yard. I've had um, the old jockey hitching posts thrown through my windows. And that began to develop some anger issues in me because I didn't understand. And that was partnered with my adoptive parents' divorce when I was two years old. And they had a very contentious divorce, which just created a perfect storm for more anger, more confusion. And when I entered high school, it had reached a point that it had, the anger had become my trusted companion. It became my coping mechanism, it became my defense, and it became my weapon. I would develop toxic, unhealthy relationships, which in high school uh, led to unwanted pregnancies. Uh, led to strained relationships with staff, with other students, family. So I lived with that on my shoulder, that big chip of anger and hatred. And as I became a young adult, it followed me, it guided me, and it definitely influenced me and the relationships that I developed were more toxic. This was the path that I believed I was set on at birth. I had lost myself to the anger and to the hatred to where I could not see myself. All I saw was the anger and the hatred and at that moment, I just threw up my hands in surrender. And got to my knees and prayed. for help. I don't want to be this person anymore. I need help. I need change. And that really was the moment when I could see things happening. I could see beneficial things. I could see good. I, I could feel some of the anger washing away. I surrendered at that moment came into a relationship with Christ. I serve in several different groups. I volunteer. My wife volunteers. My daughter volunteers. We do uh, serve days together. Uh, just anything that we can do together, we try to we try to give back. Incredibly grateful and humble and thankful for the opportunity and for just Visalia First as a whole. Like this church is. I can't even explain it. Um, everyone here is so amazing. And if it wasn't for Visalia First, and the people that work here and volunteer here, I don't think my faith or my family's faith or Nathan's faith would be where it's at. Often the hardest thing for people to do is to trust. When you fall down and you're reaching around in the dark, one hand has your family, and the other hand has your church family, and both of them have the strength and the power and the love of God behind them. You know you're gonna get stood up taller than you were before, stronger than you were before, and I just wish everybody could experience that. And you may wanna give up. The more you wanna get up, the more you should turn your face to God. That's the greatest thing.